Okay, guys, we're back inside of Helldivers. Typically, it's the weekend, so it means no official updates coming from the Helldivers team at Arrowhead, but you guys have been on fire on social media. With regards to Twitter and Reddit, you've put up some pretty interesting posts, and these are the ones I want to talk about today. So if you haven't already, make sure you smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming, the platform where where you can buy all of your favorite games for Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Uplay, and Indie Games for PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, all up to 70% off. They're completely digital games, and they have instant delivery 24-7. These are completely like, safe and legal as they bulk purchase from the developers and sell to you guys at a cheaper rate. So head down to the description, click the link, and get your games a little bit cheaper today. So starting off, the Helldivers game has been a little bit of a hidden gem of which people didn't really have much faith in right at the beginning and i'll be honest my point included i was on a fence with getting hold of this game on whether to buy it or not but it seemed i wasn't the only one right at the beginning somebody says here a pc fan wondered if helldivers 2 was worth 40 quid because he thought people would forget about it after the week now this was posted on february 12th 2024 we're now on april 14th and needless to say it didn't get forgotten about after a week this game has done so damn well especially considering it's only on two out of three platforms this game has done incredible for the com gaming community and they're just not slowing down anytime soon although there is some things that need to slow down and that does include this one right here as we have a post on twitter which shows a really really weird issue inside of the game since the update and i personally haven't experienced it myself although this white glow is nothing but shy of infuriating it looks absolutely absolutely bonkers and how anybody would be able to deal with that is absolutely beyond me as to why it's coming and why it's happening no idea if you guys have experienced this though please let me know via the comment section as i'm well intrigued to know what it is that's going on now we have a infamous foe right here the factory striders now has anybody seen or encountered these factory striders recently i haven't seen one in weeks although i have only seen one overall it seems that some people still to this day have not seen any of them but it seems that they have kind of gone into hibernation i think that the overall usage of these things was kind of dwindled after the major order and that people are now not seeing them for some sort of reason i don't have a clue as to why maybe there's a speculation that arrowhead are reworking them and i've just kind of like dwindled them out there was no real big sort of like announcement point for these things they were kind of shipped in for a little while and now nobody's seen them at all but if you have let me know via the comment section i'm well intrigued just to see whether these things are all around still and if they aren't, then the next time that we see them could be a little bit dangerous. As a 5.7 thousand upvote Reddit post right here shows something that could be all too awful. This right here is the factory strider with a jammer on the top. Now, I don't know about you, but I couldn't think of anything, absolutely anything worse than this. This thing would be absolutely ridiculous. It would be so damn dangerous and it just would be awful. Although it gets rid of that bloody auto tank turret on the top, this jammer just walking around would do my absolute Sweden. I don't even know how the hell we'd deal with that one. Now we have a couple of stories to show you guys for the ending of this video, which is, they're funny. They are funny. But nonetheless, we're going to get into the giveaway that we've got going on today. If you guys want to get involved, then all you have to do is head down into the comment section below and stick a yellow heart for democracy. For democracy yellow heart in the comment section below and it'll enter you in we'll be announcing this winner later on tonight on the community page here on the channel and in the giveaway announcement section in the discord you'll find the link to that one down in the description below but there is a nearly 11,000 of you people in there it's been incredible so far the discord is actually banging i'm so impressed with it but yeah yellow heart in the comment section it'll enter you in and make sure that you stay tuned 
for the winner. Anywho, moving on, we've got a Reddit post right here with 6,000 upvotes in seven hours, and this one made me chuckle because realistically, we see this sort of stuff just a lot. It says, just get in Pelican 1, you idiot. Just get in the ship. It's there. We're waiting. Bio Titans are coming in. Chargers all around. Three of us in the ship, and you're standing one foot from the edge, putting a effing eagle. Why? Effing why? There's no effing need. Just get in the Pelican 1. It's there to save us and extract the samples, you dumb F. And no, you have to be a cocky little P and that bile titan that was 20 feet away when the ship came down. Now its leg is glitched through and killing the people holding 40 samples. Just get in the ship, you stupid idiot. Please, please don't make that extra 15 minutes we spent sample hunting mean nothing. God effing damn, this guy had had a very, very bad experience from his extraction by the sounds of things. But we do see this quite a lot, and this has been something that's been a renowned issue since the game had launched of people trying to throw down stratagems to get that cinematic view as we extract from the planet. Now, it is not necessary, for the record, for you guys to throw down a stratagem just before you extract out. Because not only can that stratagem actually kill all of you, but if you are not careful, somehow it glitches through the ship and bio titans legs and charges and things like that can kill you. Now the problem with this is, is that Arrowhead did not listen to me. I think that you should become completely immune once you enter that ship because realistically, in the real world, and yes I know, I'm aware this is the game, but there is no way a bio titan's leg is going to glitch through the ship, kill you, but the ship still stands straight. It makes absolutely no sense. I think you should become immune once you get into the ship, and we wouldn't have this problem. But I want to know your guys' opinions via the comment section below. It's been a very interesting one, and that one made me chuckle no end. Now, we have got some talk, though, that I feel that people aren't really too switched on about, and we did a video on that one late last night. If you guys have missed it, then it's in the top right annotation right now, or you can head over to the YouTube channel where we've got consistent updates two times a day. This one is interesting, but it states, I hate to be that guy, but the fire tornadoes and instant burning death are ridiculous. That's all. That's the post. No fancy data about how quickly it should occur versus level of difficulty, etc. It's just silly and not fun. Let the down votes commence. And I would be surprised if there was any downvotes to this. I think it would be ridiculous if there was downvotes. To be completely honest with you, there has been an announcement via Twinbeard who has said that they're reworking the fire attributes, but there's obviously quite a few level points to this so that they have to break down and do individually, but they are working on it because fire is an absolute joke. It does seem to kill you instantly, and now it kills you instantaneously and a lot quicker than it was beforehand because now the fire has been buffed left, right, and center. We've got no fire deterrent, and it's a little bit annoying. But don't worry, they are working on that one as it stands. And now, we're going to get into a post as appreciation for the devs, because I don't think that it actually goes heard too often. It states right here that the devs went out of their way to give us a better, more healthy live service model, so the community should go out of their way to be healthier in its Discord. Now, this one is absolutely incredible, because realistically, we've had live service models come out so many times and they just do it wrong over and over and over and over and this has been the first live service model in years to be completely frank that has actually come out done success and done then done well continuing forward it states what i'm seeing in this community is exactly what i've always see when a game becomes massive and has a huge following we're developing a sort of group that thinks that runs on a consistent feedback loop of one of the thousands of takes out there when talking about the game picking it at random and then agreeing with each other over and over that we perceive this take to be such an obvious and undeniable truth to which then use to justify essing on the developers for not having such an obvious take. I'm not asking people to stop criticizing the game's flaws or Arrowhead itself. The game needs criticism and feedback and the devs actively search for it as demonstrated by their recent polls in the Discord. All I'm saying is that if I didn't know any better and I took a quick jaunt around the subreddit and Discord to see if this game was worth picking up, I'd be left under the impression that the game is a steaming pile of utter dog s and Arrowhead is a horrible dev studio since the player base is so vertrolic 
towards them and any changes they make. Now, this is so damn true. I've had a conversation with one of my subscribers who was actually a quite close friend from back in the day. And they turned around and said that they didn't get Helldivers, mainly because of the way it was perceived, and they thought it was pay to win. Now, I don't know how on earth this could be perceived as pay to win. So I don't actually know what it is that they've looked at with regards to what they've seen as far as posts or as far as advertisements or whatever. But it apparently looked pay to win, so they haven't played it. And they've actually missed out on such an incredible game. And it's likely that they'll end up picking it up anyway and then find out that actually it doesn't seem to be the case but it's hilarious to see how people can paint this sometimes and i think that sometimes we go amiss on a basis of if you don't manage to put some positivity out there for a game then it will naturally die just off the discourse of where you're leading it to for me it's infuriating because i think that the gaming community sometimes don't remember how much of an influence they have and just because you don't like a game specifically will mean that you have to slate on it so much that people will just follow and it will just dump it into the ground but if there's just one or two things you don't like Make sure we post the positives as well, because realistically, games like this, they die and they disappear and then companies go under mainly because of discourse that we've subjectively posted ourselves. It's a little bit crazy, but Arrowhead are doing really well and Helldivers 2 is an amazing game. That's all I'm getting at. I know you enjoy it. Let them know in the comment section below and let's show them some appreciation. Unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today, though. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Thanks again for watching, guys. Appreciate you all. And as always, I'll see you in the clouds.